Well, just in case you don't know how to create an image in Windows 7, um, a lot of people haven't used the feature because it wasn't available in uh, XP and it wasn't available in Vista Home Premium, which is what version of Vista most people used. But it is available in Windows 7 Home Premium. Now this is Windows 7 Professional, but the same exact feature is uh, to create an image is available in Windows 7 Home Premium. And I think it's one of the greatest things they've added. I don't know why it's not talked about more and why more people don't use it. I really just don't understand. So I think people should use it all the time and this is how you would use it. In your control panel, uh, well I guess I can just go to control panel. You would just go to back up and restore and over here you have set up backup and yada yada but over here on the left hand side there's one that says create a system image and when you uh, press this you're going to want to have a an external disk of some kind or an in, another internal disk or even another partition on your disk you use to uh, to, to boot uh, it's not quite as safe as having an external or another internal disk but it'll even it'll do if you ever need to use it if you uh, run an image every week or so if you ever need to take it back or lose you know something bad happens you can restore it to the same image on the same hard drive but anyway I have an external disk so I'm just gonna click on create a system image and it'll search for any uh, device you have hooked up to your computer that is capable of storing that image. I happen to have one, two, three, four different devices I could use. Um, uh, I have a 500 and, or I have a 640 gigabyte hard drive internal that is just sitting there right now with nothing on it and also two 150 gigabyte uh, partitions and I even have a bunch of space that's not even partitioned on some other drives but anyway here's my external drive it's a just a Seagate uh, 5400 RPM external USB device and uh, you can also do it on DVDs or even on a network location however Home Premium does not allow you to do it to, on a network location. Only Professional, Enterprise, and Ultimate will let you do that. So Most people are using Home Premium and that's fine. There's nothing wrong with that one at all, especially since they have this in here. So you just choose your uh, hard disk or DVDs. It might take a lot of DVDs if you go that route, but uh, just choose your hard disk and press next and then it'll give you a list of, of uh, options to choose from I have two drives that are system drives so it automatically includes those and then if I wanted to back up any of my other drives I could do that uh, but I don't right now so you just push next and then it will probably give you some type of warning if you have an existing one that says uh, the existing images may be overwritten and you just start back up depending on how much information you have um, this will vary greatly in time mine only takes under 10 minutes to do because I have most of my information stored on other disks. I just uh, have my operating system and a few programs on on my C drive. So Anyway, that's all there is to it. And when this gets done, it'll say uh, it's done. And do you want to, uh, it'll ask you, do you want to uh, 
create a system repair disk. If you haven't done that, you'll want to do it. If you forget, or you don't want to do it right then, right under that uh, link to create a system image, there's another one that says create a system repair disk. And you can do it from there. And I have another video on how to take, the, take this image and restore it if you're interested in that. So, anyway, kind of a long video for a simple uh, subject, but that's how you create a system image. You guys have a great day.